This time on Rat and Cat, we're going to be taking a look at a combination flashlight and rechargeable plasma lighter. <laughs> Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search, survive, and explore on Nakia. I've been looking at uh, few different survival gadgets, new things that are coming out, uh, like this uh, survival plasma waterproof rechargeable uh, lighter. And one thing I really liked was to see this combination lighter. It's got, just caution, there's some strobe effect here that you might see a little bit of. A flashlight strobe and also a rechargeable plasma lighter. Uh, the recharging port is right up here inside of this cap, so when it closes, there's a seal, so water's not going to get in there. It's got a, this to keep it shut, so it doesn't pop open when you're, it's in your pack and catch your pack on fire. It comes with a little lanyard and I think a rechargeable cord, as I recall. What I like more about this lighter flashlight combo than just the straight lighter is where the nodes are. The contacts on this uh, combination lighter flashlight are on top so it's easier to uh, put material in there that you're going to light and here you kind of have to wedge it with this uh, just regular plasma lighter you have to put it with down in there now I actually didn't find it was that difficult to light things that way but it is a bit easier with this format and this setup and it's the same light that you use for, or button that you use for the light to turn it on. If this is closed, the light comes on. And if it's not, the plasma comes on. Just this little button right here. And it lasts, they say, for 300 lights, ignitions. I found that that's roughly five minutes if you're to use it really solidly. Uh, and I can't remember how long it takes to charge. It seems like it was somewhere around 30 minutes to two hours. But one other thing I really like about this, like I said in one of my other videos, is I like these rechargeable devices for a number of reasons. I'm not wasting a bunch of batteries. Uh, I'm not wasting time going down to the store to get a bunch of batteries. Uh, I don't think batteries are good for the planet and they're not good for my pocketbook. And it's just in an inefficient use of time where I can just plug this in and recharge it. I'm almost always taking with me a battery pack uh, to recharge my camera gear and my flashlights, lighters, things like that, GPS, rescue beacon. So I think this is a great little addition. Right now we're going to light several different fuels with it and see how it works. I've got the plasma lighter here and I'm going to light this bit of compressed wood fiber with starting fuel in it. No problem there. We have a little pitch wood. I like to have a little grass in there to wick, wick it with. There we go. Up next, I have a little cotton swab with Vaseline on it. No problem. That starts really good. <laughs> so one thing I think that's really important is to make sure that when you're lighting it, that you're lighting it upright. You're starting whatever you're starting up like this. If you're down like this, it's going to foul up your plugs and uh, melt those slightly. They seem to hold up pretty well, and I don't know how long they'll last, though, but uh, you know, I think it's better to do it upright. This lid gets a little bit in the way, but it's not too bad. But I really like that it's on top rather than in the middle like this guy here. Like I've said before, with a traditional lighter, the fuel is not going to work that great if it's cold. If it's windy, it often will blow out unless you have a torch variety of a lighter. Uh, so I think this is a really great thing because it's not going to blow out and it doesn't matter what temperature it is. You have to keep it charged up, but you can recharge it if the battery gets low in cold temperatures. I also like that this lighter flashlight combo is really lightweight. It has a rubbery surface that's easy to grip. I'm not going to have to worry about it getting wet, like I said. So uh, I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. Do you, do you like this type of flashlight or do you go with the traditional flint and steel? I actually think that that's always a good thing to use, to have in your backpack multiple sources. You know, three types of fire starters would be great in my opinion. Uh, 
But what do you what do you like? And I'll put up a link right here so that you can see the the review I did of this other little tactical lighter as well. Till next time, I'm Nakia. This is Rat and Cat. Get out there, be safe, and enjoy the wild. Thank you.